I remember thinking to myself that my very first Palm Sunday in Pennsylvania was a weird one because it snowed. But as far as weird Palm Sundays go, this one definitely takes the cake. As we've been filming these little services, we've mostly been keeping the cameras pretty tight on the speakers, but I've asked Crystal, our office manager and now videographer, to zoom out for a few seconds so that you can appreciate the cake-winning weirdness of this moment. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. I imagine there's nothing you'd like more in this moment than to be with me and with one another in this space. That Christian desire to be together on this holy day is part of a much broader human yearning nowadays for social distancing to come to an end. And that yearning is really starting to kick up into high gear as the virus interferes with some of our most cherished celebrations. Birthdays, weddings, funerals, graduations, Palm Sunday, Passover, and Easter Sunday. Our desire to be together for this Holy Week, our yearning to be able to come together again and celebrate something, along with every other expression of our anxiety and grief, all of that is added to the cries of the first Palm Sunday's crowds. With their troubles heavy on their hearts, they cried out to the heir of King David, Hosanna, help us, save us now. And one of the terrifically bittersweet truths about this holy day is that though he hears us and loves us, Jesus, our Savior, doesn't always save us in the way we feel like we need to be saved. Yes, Jesus invites us to take his yoke upon us and learn from him, and in so doing, he assures us we will find rest for our souls. Yes, Jesus promised to be with us always to the very end while we are sharing his good news with the world and teaching the world his way. Yes, these promises and so many others sustain us in all our troubles. But these promises don't take away our troubles, do they? You already know that. Sometimes the answer to our prayer is not yet. Not in that way. No. The story of Palm Sunday reminds us that even as we crowds cry out to Jesus about our troubles, Jesus comes to do battle in his gentle way with the trouble that is at the root of all our troubles. And that trouble is this. Our human family is captive to sin, death, and evil, and we cannot free ourselves. But thanks be to God, Jesus can and does free us and we cling to that faith, even when the answer to our prayers is no, and especially when our troubles persist. This is definitely a weird Palm Sunday. There's no doubt about it. But if you really think about what Jesus set out to do on this day, and how it did and did not 
address the felt troubles of those crowds, and I think you'll realize Palm Sunday has always been a little weird. Amen.